The most common probes for goat pregnancy scanning are convex that look like this. They're lower frequency and larger. Or the smaller, higher frequency microconvex probes that look like this. Higher frequency ultrasound gives higher resolution images. And what that means is that if you have two distinct points, if you're using high frequency, you're more likely to see those as two different points on your ultrasound monitor. If you're using low frequencies, it's more likely that they will just be one fuzzy blur on your screen and they'll merge into one. You won't see them as the two individual points that they are. And that is what is meant by image resolution and why higher frequencies give sharper, clearer images with greater detail. So why wouldn't we just always use high frequency ultrasound? The reason is that high frequency ultrasound uses up its energy very quickly. It doesn't travel very far into the body before all of its energy is used up. So for better penetration, we have to use lower frequencies. What that means for us when we scan goats is that for our smaller breeds, like Nigerian dwarfs or pygmy goats, we can afford to use those higher frequencies and get really beautiful images. But for larger goats, we're going to have to drop our frequency in order to get the penetration that we need. The other consideration is the actual size of the probe. The microconvex probe is a lot smaller, making it easier to manipulate. The larger convex probe can give you a slightly wider field of view, but in smaller goats, it can be difficult to maneuver it. Today I'm going to compare the convex and microconvex probes on two popular ultrasound machines, the ScanX and the Elite 5600. I can't easily bring goats into the studio, so helping with this video is Lola, the Pomeranian. First up is the microconvex probe on the ScanX. Next, the convex probe. Images are not quite as sharp, but this is a higher end machine, so still very clear. Here are the exported clips one after the other. Microconvex first, starting at the bladder. Gestation sacs then come into view beautifully clear. Frequency is at 6 MHz here, which is the centre of the probe's range. Now with the convex probe on its central frequency of 3.5 MHz, can you see we have a drop in resolution? We still get all the information we need, but we don't have that same level of clarity. Now for the Elite 5600. I'm finding the bladder first and reducing my depth. This is the microconvex probe. Reducing my depth further now, to really make use of all the space I have on screen, I can just about catch the tiny flicker of a heartbeat, even at this early stage, with the higher resolution of a microconvex probe. On to the lower frequency convex probe now. The main drawback with the convex probe here is that I just cannot reduce my depth enough to make use of all my on-screen space with this smaller animal. I also found that although the most common argument for using a convex probe is that it makes it easier to get more on screen in one go, the lack of manoeuvrability actually made it more difficult to get the two foetuses in one image than it was with the microconvex probe. I hope this video has been useful in helping you to identify the best probe type for you. I know if you have a mixed herd it is a more difficult decision. If for example you have mainly Nigerians and a few La Mancha goats, none of whom are particularly large, then I would say go with a microconvex, it's going to give you better quality images, it's going to be a lot more manoeuvrable in your smaller goats. If however you have primarily larger breed goats, go for a convex probe because that way you've played it safe, you'll definitely get sufficient penetration even if you have a foetus that's very deep inside one of your does. Good luck!